Hi everybody, I'm Walt Lewis and you're watching another Fire Engineering Training Minutes. Today we're going to talk about using our UAS in the hazmat arena where it can go downrange and investigate the scene and make it safer for our personnel and a little bit more efficient for operations. What do you think, Jay? You ready? Let's do it. In this case, we've got a reported tank car leaking. A passerby thought they saw product coming from an unknown tank car, something they weren't able to get information from. We can send the UAV downrange, investigate the situation, see if we truly have a leak and if it's something seriously dangerous. On a siding like this, we can try and get in touch with the railroad company to get the information from that route, but we can also send the UAV downrange to determine what car is truly leaking, if that's such the case. Here we can see molten sulfur is listed as leaking, and there's some product that looks like it's poured from the top. Doesn't seem to be a big hazard, so we may not have to bring too much equipment. We can send our personnel downrange with the right items, quickly and efficiently. By seeing what they have to deal with before they get there, the hazmat team members can be better prepared, bring the right tools, move into action quicker, and come back from the scene faster. And this will help us scale the size of response needed for this event. Hey guys, thanks for coming out. It looks like we got a rolling meth lab down range a little bit. The wind is carrying us in the other direction, so we're good. It's just we got to get a set of eyes on it. We're probably going to need you guys to take care of it. Okay. Um, not exactly sure how much is in there or what's in there. We've got a back of a truck that's smoking. It's, it's pretty odd stuff. You guys are the experts on this, but we're going to get some extra eyes for you. We're going to fly the drone down range and get some extra eyes and intel on it so we can make it safer for you guys to go down for the operation. Great. We'll start getting ready. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks. for coming out. Thanks, guys. Having a UAV system reduces some of the risk of having to go up and personally assess some of the dangers that we face. In this case here, we have a potential meth lab in the back of a pickup truck. And having an unmanned aerial surveillance vehicle that we can send downrange to get as much intel as possible makes the scene a whole lot safer and more efficient for everybody involved. We're able to look up the ID on the vehicle, the tag, the type of vehicle, any distinguishing marks, anybody that may be in it, and all do this without putting humans at risk. Another situation where we can use our UAV for hazmat is sending it downrange around a corner where we have no intel on what may be leaking. We have an odor in the area. We've been called to a pool products location that may have an outside tank that's leaking. A passerby smelled chlorine and there's nobody on site to give us information. As we attempt to get in contact with the management for the facility, we can send our UAV downrange, get an inspection on the tanks, and determine if we truly have a leak from that location. All while our personnel are getting dressed, nobody's in danger, and we can get a quick look to see what our access in and out is gonna be, and anything else we may have to contend with. From the investigation, we could see it's 1791, sodium hypochlorite, and our crews can bring the appropriate equipment to seal the leak. As we can see, sending that UAV downrange to look at the rail car or to investigate the smoke from the back of the truck that's very suspicious really minimizes the risk to our personnel and makes that scene more efficient. We could do that while the personnel are getting dressed out. And with the intel that brings back, it allows us to understand what we may be facing, what equipment they've got to bring, how far downrange they got to go, a whole lot of elements, a lot of information we didn't have before. Absolutely. And, and with that information, it's going to allow us to get to our victims quicker and provide the, the rescue that they need in a timely fashion. That's just incredible. Thanks for your help, Jason. For Fire Engineering's Training Minutes, I'm Walt Lewis. And I'm Jason Revolt. Thanks for watching.